Hello and welcome to Inside Judicial Watch. I'm your host, Bruce Schlesman. With me today, we have one of our senior attorneys, Jim Peterson, who's here to speak to us about our lawsuit in Colorado. Thanks for coming by. Hello, Bruce. Good to be here. So I just wanted to go through the lawsuit um, that we're, we're suing Colorado. Do you want to give us a little bit of background into that lawsuit and what's going on with that issue? Sure. We filed a lawsuit uh, against the Colorado Secretary of State. This is part of our effort to investigate states that have joined what is known as the National Popular Vote Interstate Compact. And that long uh, uh, name is a part of an effort to, it's very serious, to basically hijack the Electoral College. Uh, we are seeking a variety of records from the Colorado Secretary of State about their involvement uh, in this effort. So with this lawsuit that was just filed, we're suing the Secretary of State, like, what are we trying to accomplish? Are we trying to stop the law from being made? Like, uh, At this point, we're trying to get uh, information on uh, exactly what uh, uh, went into their decision to join uh, this effort. Uh, this effort is very important because basically it's an attempt to undo the Electoral College. A variety of states, and now recently Colorado as well, uh, have joined this uh, effort to basically, uh, despite what, that when a presidential election is held, despite what the voters of a state uh, decide in terms of the candidate they pick, if the national popular vote is different, that state will not follow the will of its voters, but will uh, endorse the uh, results of the national popular vote. And that's basically an attempt to undo the last election and, uh, the, and the election in 2000, both of which uh, President Trump and, and uh, in 2000 President Bush, they lost the national popular vote, but won the electoral college vote. So a variety of states, including Colorado, are now seeking to try to change the system in an underhanded way uh, to keep that from happening, happening again. So this is mostly a partisan attempt from the left, you would say? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the states that have endorsed this are all leftist, uh, very blue states because they were basically uh, unhappy with the fact that the Electoral College, under the Electoral College, the system prescribed in the Constitution uh, for how our president should be chosen produced a result they didn't like. Uh, and and, and the, the, the Electoral College, of course, we didn't used to think about that much, but uh, in recent years, because of the uh, 2000 election and 2016, you know, has become uh, uh, more, more well known. Uh, the Electoral College was the result of a very careful compromise uh, itself that was uh, entered into when the Constitution was adopted uh, by the founders. You know, to balance the rights of large states and small states and to take into account the possibility of voter fraud and other uh, things that might occur in some states uh, and to see that uh, the rights are, were fairly balanced and represented uh, in, of, of all people in the selection of the president. Uh, it was a carefully designed system that these states, including Colorado and others now, are trying to basically undo uh, because they don't like the results of, uh, of the recent elections where uh, very populous uh, large states like California and New York you know, have been heavily uh, anti-Trump most recently. Uh, but, and which, which has skewed the popular vote nationwide, you know, but even, but, and despite what they've done the, the elect, under the Electoral College, uh, President Trump, of course, won, and, they, and they're unhappy about that, and they're trying to stop that from happening again. So this group with the really long name, like this, right. where, when did this group come about? It kind of seems like we're just hearing about it this year. Well, it's been around for a while in that, in that uh, a few states uh, have uh, uh, adopted this uh, approach uh, a, a while back. There's now a total of 14 states that have enacted legislations or, or, or otherwise uh, made uh, uh, a, a commitment to participate in this 
uh, interstate compact. Now, there are a variety of problems with this, uh, it, and it doesn't go into effect until enough states t uh, equaling a, v a majority of all electoral college votes ha have adopted it, but they're getting close, and they're, 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 nearing, they're nearing a majority. And uh, what it means is that uh, when they get that majority, those states will not uh, will not uh, uh, will not vote for those state the electors in those states will not uh, support the uh, winner of the uh, presidential election in that state but they'll look to everywhere else in the country and say and if it's a different candidate they'll go with that candidate I mean so it's a way to uh, basically circumvent the Electoral College and the rights of individual states in the, uh, uh, in the hope that the preferred candidate, usually in, the, in these cases, of the, the very blue leftist states, you know, they, they want to have the national popular vote winner uh, win as opposed to the Electoral College vote winner. And it's basically a way to undo the last election and to try to do it again. So. If you can speculate a little bit, um, what information do you think this lawsuit's going to find? Well, we're trying to get at the, uh, the, some of the discussions and other planning that went into the high state officials in Colorado. And that's what we're, we're, we're seeking. They're fighting us, of course, but uh, we'll pursue it uh, through the courts to, to, to get at this. Colorado, uh, which is becoming an increasingly blue state, uh, uh, has now has joined this effort, basically thumbing its nose at the people of Colorado and saying, it doesn't matter what you do, what your choice, the people of Colorado in the next election, if the, if all, if all these people in California and otherwise and everywhere else uh, think that their candidate is is the best. Uh, then uh, we'll ignore the will of the voters of Colorado and go with uh, the candidate of the, of the other states. It's really an extraordinary thing. So what is at risk if this group succeeds and the Electoral College is basically made null and void? Well, it subverts the Constitution. It basically takes away the w ability of the people in the in the, these states and others uh, to uh, vote for the candidate of their choice, and uh, a point that hasn't been uh, discussed enough yet is that it opens the door even wider to rampant voter fraud. What it means is that if, say, one state, say California, for example, uh, if California has very lax uh, laws and allows uh, intentionally or unintentionally uh, you know, rampant voter fraud in a particular election, and it drives up the vote total in that case. What that means is that that state will get a disproportionate impact on the election overall as opposed to uh, voters, voters in other states because in a national popular vote interstate compact that, that uh, we're talking about, uh, those votes will count for more than they other, otherwise would have under the current system. The current system took, was designed in part to protect against this kind of voter fraud. And again, this new approach, if it goes into effect, would invite and encourage even greater voter fraud, which is already a significant problem in our elections. Yeah, voter fraud is obviously a huge concern. It's one that Judicial Watch is fighting all the time. You know, we just interviewed uh, uh, Bob Popper about that very issue going on in California, the, the ability for that issue to go on. So that's obviously a big concern. Yeah. Where does Judicial Watch go from here uh, in reference to this lawsuit and what happens in other states? Because this is going to be happening in other states, as you've pointed out, with this compact. Right. Well, we're investigating uh, in Colorado. We're look, looking uh, elsewhere as well because this is a, a growing uh, effort by by the left to uh, to hijack the electoral college, uh, which again is very important uh, in, in our in our system. Uh, we're going to certainly, uh, uh, based on what we find, uh, 
look at all possible uh, legal actions. There are, se there are serious constitutional questions about uh, whether this could uh, uh, even be implemented if, if they try. You know, so we're going to look at every available step and uh, we're going to do everything uh, we can to you know, protect our elections uh, as we do. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us and walking us through this very important issue and this, this new lawsuit in reference to the Electoral College. Certainly, thank you. Thank you for joining us on Inside Judicial Watch today. If you like this episode, please check out others. Uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, and of course, subscribe to us on YouTube. And if you follow Judicial Watch and you like what you see and you like what we're doing, please uh, be sure to donate on our website as well. Thanks so much for joining us.